So, uh, one of the biggest questions I've gotten recently is, how do I find an uncertainty? Well, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways at the moment. When you have your TI-83 or 84 calculator, you're going to go ahead and hit the stat button. This brings up this particular menu. We want to go ahead and edit. So, it's already selected. We are going to hit enter at this point. Once we are in, we see that there are a couple of different lists that we can put information in. If your lists have stuff in them, go ahead and arrow up, hit clear, and then enter, and that'll go ahead and reset your list so you don't have any information in them. All right. We are then going to go ahead and put in uh, some random numbers just for example purposes. So we have 5, 6, 8, 1, 3, 4 and done. All right. And now my list is filled out. I have everything that I need. I'm going to go ahead and quit my lists. At this point, I want to go ahead and make sure to calculate these values. To do that, I'm going to go back to stat and then over to calc. All right. One bar stats is already selected and that's exactly what I want, so I'm going to hit enter again. Once I've hit enter, I need to make sure that I select where it's going to calculate the stats from. To do that, we want to make sure it pulls the information from list one. So I'm going to hit second one, and that goes ahead and put, pulls up list one, and I can hit enter. All right? It does all my calculations for me. So this is everything that I need for my number. All right. This number here is my average, all right, um, and that is my base number, so to speak, that I'm dealing with. The next number we're going to deal with is this one down here, which is our standard deviation. And those are everything that we need to report our value with our uncertainty. It <clears throat> so this number would be 5 point, oops. 1, 4, plus or minus 2.59. Alright, um, one thing I do want to note is the fact that your uncertainty has to have the same sort of sig figs and decimal places that your number has. So if I rounded my number to three sig figs, my uncertainty also has to have three sig figs. Hopefully that cleared up any confusion and you should be good to go.